back to putting down roots. Um, as you can see, I'm in a very different setting to last time. I'm in a very, very sunny New Zealand. We finally landed after around two weeks of traveling um, and we are in my friend's house. So my friend Laura and her boyfriend Nate have put us up for a couple of weeks whilst we get ourselves sorted. Um, and it is so warm here. It's 30 degrees, so the opposite almost of the UK. Tomorrow it's been very cold and windy in the UK, so we're very grateful for the sun. Um, and I just wanted to bring you up to speed on what it is we've been doing, um, how we've been finding the past few days in New Zealand, but also some of the things that we're hoping to get up to this week and plans. Um, so we landed on Sunday and it is Tuesday today. Um, and we had a day yesterday where we just went grocery shopping, we picked up a few bits and bobs from a supermarket called Pack and Save and we went for a little walk around Christchurch Botanical Gardens. So I don't think I mentioned we're in Christchurch, so we're on the South Island. Um, Christchurch is the biggest city in the South Island. Um, so we went for a little walk around the Botanical Gardens, had a picnic for lunch with Laura before she went into work. And then we actually went to view our first van yesterday. Um, we'd lined up a viewing um, when we were traveling. I think we'd organized this when we were in Sydney. Um, and unfortunately the van had gone um, by the time we saw it um, the owners were really lovely and they drove to just tell us in person um, because they were really hopeful that we were going to be the right ones and it was just a really good chance for Tom and I to look around the van see whether it was what we were expecting or not and we were a bit disappointed I'm not gonna lie just in terms of the size um obviously we're looking to live out of this van for potentially a year um so it was a little bit smaller than we were hoping for um the pictures um obviously are really just hard to tell sizing um and there's not really any dimensions on there so you do just have to like get a feel for it but it was so good to do that and I think we've just come to realize that ideally we would love a bit of a bigger van went to go and set up a sim card so to have a New Zealand and sim so we can use data and everything when we're on the go we went into vodafone um in rickerton which is the closest to where we are now um and it took a while actually it took about an hour and a half there was a few glitches along the way but we've got a new zealand sim new zealand number um and that's all good to go now um so i need to change them all on it all on whatsapp and everything um and then today we have just been um, looking at a few more vans online um and that's all really we're going to go to the beach later on today we're just having a bit of a slow start to the day we've also rang up about setting up a bank account so that should all be good to go in about three to five days so i've got a big backlog on applications at the moment um so other than that i think that's all there is to update you on um in general we're both feeling really positive to be here now that we're finally here we haven't seen loads of the city so it's been hard to get like a feel for the place um but it's been great to get some things ticked off the list and yeah like i said we're so grateful to laura and her boyfriend for having us um just almost just unconditionally um allowing us to stay as long as we want until we get sorted which is so so fortunate um the feel like we've just landed on our feet so I'm going to go to the beach with Flora today, um, soak in a few rays because it's 30 degrees here today, but it's set to rain tomorrow and go down to 20. Um, so a little bit chillier, but come along with us and discover a little bit more of the city and keep up to date with what we're doing this week. So I've just come to Night and Day, which is sort of like a little convenience store um, here in New Zealand. So I'm going to go in and take a little look and see what some of the things that they have here. So these are the drinks and they look very similar to the UK, but the Cokes are in huge cans, like 440 mil seems to be a quite a standard size of everything but they have pretty similar things they've got a lot of mountain dew and look at these massive power aids and gatorades they are huge they have amazing ice creams here so caramel it's an ice cream form they have some memphis raspberry there was a big hokey that's supposed to be really nice um, and then these really lovely ones that are like chocolate and then I think they've got like passion fruit. And it all just looks so American. Um, it's pancake day today, oh my gosh I forgot. I don't know whether we'll actually make some. Um, but there is just like a lot of American type stuff. Skippy, that's definitely American. Oh cereal? Mm, maybe not. Um, but yeah, it just, like everything seems a much bigger over here. Um, I've got a little pig in there. Okay. Fresh stuff as well. We've got some nice cakes, cheesecakes, fresh sandwiches. And I'm just using my front camera now, so I'm sorry if the quality is a lot worse. Um, but the glare is really bright, so I don't even know that being shot <laughs> with the other one. Um, but I've just tried, I actually went for this Mountain Dew. Um, it's passion fruit, and I love passion fruit, and I don't think I've ever tried Mountain Dew before, but it is so nice. Um, I didn't know it was an energy drink, 
Um, no, it's got sugar in it. Tom told me the other day when I tried to buy one at 10pm that I probably shouldn't. But it's so refreshing. It's what you need on a hot day. Um, I think like I said earlier, it was about 30 degrees. So yeah, it's so lovely. Hello and welcome back to another day. Um, it's Friday today. Yesterday was not a good day. I had a bit of a write off day, but we still managed to open a bank account. So that was a good thing. We finalized all of that, but not a good day, but we're back today on a bit better form, hopefully. Um, and we're gonna be going into the center of Christchurch because we did that a couple of days ago now, just really briefly for a few hours and um, seeing some friends. So we are gonna be going and doing a little bit of exploring, um, going to be going to some of the really pretty streets, hopefully seeing the tram, but not going on it. And we're gonna be going for a little walk on the way to the botanical gardens. Um, so hopefully we'll take a few more clips today. Um, but like I said, yesterday we got our bank account open, so that was a good thing. And that took a couple of days. And we were able to take ourselves to the branch and then they just confirmed all of our documents. We needed our passport, our visas, and a proof of address. That's where we're staying, which had to be a New Zealand address. Um, that all got stamped and approved and then last night we also applied for our IRD number which is like a national insurance number so we can work so all very good things um, so yeah we feel a little bit less like we've got stuff to tick off today so hopefully today will be a bit more of a freer chiller day and um, where we can just wander and see a little bit of the city because like I said we've not done too much of that yet so I'll take you along with us um, and you can see what this city is like so uh, this is the Hagley Oval um, they, this is the one of the national cricket grounds for New Zealand. A couple of years ago when I was here last, England and New Zealand played here and I could get tickets for $10, which is about £5. Pounds. Um, and they let you come onto the cricket pitch as well during half time oh, really? um, when they go for tea. I think England are all playing in the North Island this time around, so there's no tests happening in the South this time around. But the Black Caps are going to be playing Sri Lanka in a few weeks. So if we're still here, we might try and get some cheap tickets and sit on a grassy mound. There's usually some fairs going on, but nothing around today. So the Botanical Gardens is already in the middle of a park, but I'm pretty sure this is probably where it starts. And um, we actually came the other day for a little picnic really quickly at lunch, but this is called the River Avon. Um, so people in the UK, majority of you, <laughs> will know it from Stratford upon Avon, but definitely not the same river. Um, it's so pretty, but they do do punting down here, just like they do in Stratford, up in Avon. Um, and you pick up the punts from about, about 15 minutes outside of the centre. So that way is the centre. Um, so yeah, you can pick them up there and it's $30 a person, apparently. I'm not sure how long the tours last. Um, I'm a very bad tour guide. Um, but you sort of go through the botanical gardens as part of that and into the city. So you sort of get a bit of the both. Um, but it's so, so beautiful. Um, I'll show you a little bit more. This is just the start, but yeah, very peaceful. And unlike quite a lot of the botanic gardens in the UK that I'm aware of, you don't have to pay to get in. Um, so that's a greasy bonus. Here we go. So here is the map. So here we are, you are here. Like I say, the city is this way. Um, so that's where some of the boats come from. Here you go, the boat shed for punting and it comes all the way up here. But all of this in the middle, you can see conservatories and rose gardens, observatories. This is all part of the Botanic Garden. So we might do all of it today. This is quite a lot, but um, yeah, it's really vast. Christ College, like even like Cambridge. garden and um, they have one of these in Greenwich Park but it was never as vast as this there was never so many roses I think they're maybe just going out of season now actually um, but it's so pretty we're in another building now and these flowers are beautiful I hope this camera juice does it justice because these are so, so beautiful. I'm not sure what they're called. Begonia? A begonia. This colour is gorgeous. So I think this is the equivalent of the Palm House at Kew Gardens. It's not super warm actually. I thought it was going to be a little bit warmer, but lots of more tropical greenery. Feels like there should be a beach nearby though. Ooh. 
just praying that these peace lilies do better than the ones on our balcony. R.I.P. What a mood. <laughs> Here's our first look at the little tram. This is definitely a tourist tram. It goes round and round in circles all day and you can hop on hop off. I think it's $25 for a day. And I think it's one of the reclaimed old parts. He's just got off. <laughs> parts of the city. But it is really beautiful. When we go down one of the streets later, that comes like literally straight through the center and it's quite a small street. So we'll get a better look then, but have okay, tram. So behind me is Christchurch Cathedral and that's one of the most famous landmarks in Christchurch. Um, unfortunately, it was pretty much destroyed. Some of the buildings still standing, but the steeple of the church um, was collapsed in the 2010 and 2011 earthquakes. So both the Canterbury earthquake and then in the Christchurch earthquake in 2011. Um, so restoration is underway. It looks beautiful though. So some of the art behind here sort of shows what it was like. Um, so it's a real shame. So yeah, you can't go in it at all. It's just a building site. Um, but you can see they sort of started to put um, half falling like over the top of it to show what it would have been like or what they hope to it will be like in the future. So this is it from another angle so you can definitely confirm that of people working on it so it's definitely uh, restorations underway. But look at the roof, that's beautiful so I imagine they've had to do all of that again and oh you can't see but just over there you can see the very top of the steeple um, which came off I imagine this bit just here. This fabulous street art it's so cool, like there's penguins and there's penguins like swimming in the water and then there are ice caps above. Um, and then that just there to the left is the library. And um, that's where we were the other day, it's incredible. It's like four floors and they have like a space exhibition, a flight simulator, it's really cool. And then here's some more street art, which, wow, like it's almost blending with a brick, doesn't it? So this is New Regent Street um, and this is a beautiful little shopping street that's known for yeah, all its little boutique shops at the bottom but then also apparently some of these buildings above turn into really cool bars at night um, and the weather has not been great today but um, in the sunshine just imagine close your eyes well don't because then you can't see it <laughs> you can't see the screen but imagine the sunshine um, and it almost looks like something yeah have like a Victorian sort of vibe or maybe seaside but yeah it's gorgeous so yeah there's lots of eateries under here so waffles what groovy glasses but yeah this is adorable and the tram comes all the way through here so potentially when it comes i'll be able to show you This, Tom? This is my hostel from five years ago. Five years, it's still standing. It's still standing. <laughs> Hallelujah! You can see the. Beds. <laughs> oh, I feel like this is inappropriate to be zooming in on someone's bed. <laughs> I'll stop now. So, this is our next stop C1 Espresso. And there's something very special about this coffee shop, which is why we're trapped in the rain to get here. So, I'll show you when we're inside. <laughs> How are your tube chips, Tom? Good, thank you. They nice? Yeah, salty. They're dinky. Seen the food come down the pipe, and um, hopefully, maybe the cake that we've just had. We've just sat here for about 
hour or so and just reading our books, which for anyone that knows Tom will think that's a minor miracle, it is. Um, so we just sat here enjoying a cake and just chilling out for a little bit and hiding from the rain, which is now stopped. Um, but just before we go out and gone, I've just been in the toilet and to get to the toilet here, you have to go through a sliding bookcase, which I might show you in a minute. Um, and you walk into the toilet and before you go in each of the doors there's all the Star Wars characters um, that signify like which toilet you should go in which is really cool so I went in one with Leia in and then there's an audiobook playing and I sat there trying to work out what it was for a few minutes and realised it was the Harry Potter audiobook so I'm trying to remember which book mm. it was from I'll ask Tom when he comes out he'll know um, but it was so cool I was going to stay on the toilet for ages but alas you had to drag me away from Stephen Fry so good. It's so cool. And I've just seen this view behind us. Look at all these hills. It sort of reminds me of Middlesbrough, <laughs> where Tom's from. But also a little bit of the Lake District too, when we're at the beach of the day, you could definitely sense that. Okay, so we've just come into Pack and Save, which is one of their low cost supermarkets. And it looks very similar to a Costco back at home. I feel like it's merged with a Costco and like an Asda. It's a little bit smaller than a Costco, bigger than Asda. So, We'll see some of the interesting things, but look, just mounds. Things, people, things are piled up. How exciting! We love a supermarket trip. We're gonna go and get try and get things for tea. So I think we're gonna make a beef strong enough for a night. One, oh, here we are. The infamous tin Tim Tams. So these are definitely an Australia and New Zealand special. We've tried these ones so far, just the original. Um, but the caramel ones sound good. To be honest, they'll be the next on the list. One thing we realised the other day is that the bakery section here is incredible. And look at these loads. There's some of the like, pull apart ones. I didn't even have some of the best ones, but yeah, look how big the loads are. And there's these up here lemon and passion fruit twist. That's a cinnamon and babka. Oh, it's a babka. So cinnamon sort of loaf. Danish. And then these things here, like Chelsea buns. And then this brioche salted caramel. That's three twenty nine, so like one pound seventy. But yeah, it just looks so so good. And then little donuts, sweet treat. Got a lot of these actually. You know, sitting there, it's definitely not as big, but the one more local to us, um, where you can just sort of pick your own. It's like bulk, buy, um, and then fill. How cool is that? I feel like we get only get that in Holland and Barrett in the UK, but it's sort of a bit more common here. Oh, and of course, the trusty pick and mix right next to the nuts. You know which one I'd go for. Uh, <laughs> obviously, and obviously, New Zealand are known for their great wines. So, obviously, all of these are pretty much probably going to be local. You can see here this one from Marlborough. That's sort of the well known wine region. Sauvignon Blancs. Um, this is the one that we have with Abby. Abby, if you're watching, you're going to absolutely love this. I've already sent you a picture of it. But Oyster Bay, they have that in the, in the cool bees. Um, Hello everyone, it is a new day, but I realised that I didn't finish off the vlog properly in yesterday's one So just thought I would come on and hop on and say thank you so much for watching And um, we are walking into town today and I was going to do a little bit of editing um, and putting the vlog all together So it should be up for Sunday hopefully, but I always underestimate how long these things take And um, there's a little concert in the park today, well so it's not little, it is probably very large You might go to hear the bass, but I actually think it's just stopped now um, there was no tickets left, so unfortunately we could not go, um, but Lord's playing, but I think that's the only act that we know. Um, so unfortunately no festival for us, definitely like spot the people that aren't going to the festival, I look like I'm going to a flower festival, <laughs> not a concert. Um, but yeah, we just went and did part run this morning um, and we've just spent hours trying to sort out vans and we've got nowhere. It is a time sucker, this van. Searching. I just feel like we're searching for a flat again, to be honest, but fingers crossed if you're the praying type to keep praying for us. We're praying for a van. That's my big prayer for at the point at the moment that we actually get something soon because we love Christchurch, but we'd actually like quite like to get out. Um, but anyway, that was a very long outro. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll have more to report you on next week. Bye-bye.